stampers welcome to another week of watch it weekly wednesday i'm aubrey part of the stamp and jill creative team and today i'm excited to share with you the playful alphabet dies these dies are so fun they are the perfect basic font that you can use on just about any card um, whether it's a holiday type card whether it's a thank you or a thinking of you or whatever it may be these are so much fun and you can use them with anything to get the saying or the sentiment that you want so I wanted to show you a few cards that I've come up with using the playful alphabet dies and then I wanted to show you a technique that you can use with them so these are some of the cards that we've come up with using this these are really fun. This one is a little um, gift card holder here. You can see it opens there and then you can put a gift card right here in the cello. So cute. And then this is a shaker card. It says, miss you. So fun. And then this one says, thanks. I love these cards. And on all three of them, you can see we have cut out the letters and then popped them up so they're a little bit dimensionalized. We use the foam adhesive sheets in order to do that. Those are so great and you can cut any image out with the foam adhesive sheets using our dies, but they're really especially great for these playful alphabet dies so that you can kind of pop up your sentiment. But I want to show a different way to use them as well that I don't think we always think about because those foam adhesive sheets are so great. So let me bring in a piece of paper here and I'm going to build my saying right on top of my stamping cut and embossing machines platform so that I can just stick it right in. So I'm going to um, use the sentiment happy birthday and I'm going to take all of my letters over to the right side of my paper. I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to have it say happy birthday just like that. Now there are some of the letters in um, the playful alphabet that are double like you for example you have two A's, we have two E's, two S's, the, the letters that we use quite a bit but some of them you don't. So I can't run all of the letters through in one um, go. I need to do it in two. So let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to start with happy and we're just going to orient it over here on the right side of the paper. But I only have one P, so I'm just going to go as far as PY in happy, just like that, okay? And then I'm going to go down to my next word, which I'm going to have birth right here. So that ends with an H. So I'm going to put H T R I and B. And I can spell that whole word word out. And then underneath that, I'm going to do day, but I only have the one Y. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. So let me grab my other plate here, put that on top. And then we're going to run that through on the stamping cut and emboss machine. Just like that. Okay. And then I'm going to move all of those letters off and take all of my dies. Okay. And now I'm just going to finish off my words. So I need a P again, and A, and H, and then we're going to spell day down here. So Y, and my second A, and D, just like that. Grab my other plate, run that through. Okay, so there. Take all of this off. And the best part of this is now you have all of the letters that say happy birthday. So you can do this card and then you can take all of those letters and make another card out of the, out of the letters you just punched. So let me show you. I'm going to put some DSP behind this. Isn't that so cute? You're kind of just taking that negative of 
the the dies of the letters and getting it just a totally different look. So let me show you the card that I made that looks like this. So here it is. We just put it all together, popped up some cute little balloons. Super simple and so cute. So you can see the difference here. This is using that negative space and this is popping them up with those foam adhesive sheets. Both are so cute, but just a different look. I love that. So let me bring in a few more cards that we've made and received using this set, just so you can get a few more ideas. Here's one. I love this strip looking card. Hello. So cute. And this one. Hi. That's again using that negative area. This one. Thanks. I made that fun fold there. And here's another shaker card. Happy birthday. And that's using that same look. We just um, put shaker stuff behind it. So super cute. I've had so much fun playing with these playful alphabet dies. I love them. I think they'll be around for a long time to come. And they're the perfect addition to your crafting supplies. I hope you enjoyed our video this week. If you have any questions, make sure to email us at sudemonstrator at gmail.com. And if you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.